Hey guys, I am Kyle and in today's video, I'm going to show you a beginner's tutorial on how you can get started on the Google Space on Google Chat. So let's get started. So here we are in a Google Chat and we have our Google Space here or previously known as Google Room. And if you're wondering how to get here, it's very simple. All you have to do is go into your uh, Google and make sure that you're currently logged in and let's say you want to go into the gmail and then from here you simply want to click here on the google apps and then you can see the chats and when you click on it right there click on chats right here then you'd be able to go into the google chats or google workspace right here and as you can see we are now right here and now let's begin in the features of the google workspace so first of all is this one right here at the left side so this one is you can make a new chat right here so if you want to message someone then you can click here on the new chat and then from here you have your shortcuts so this is the home this is where you'll be seeing everything right here so this is basically an overview of everything you can go and you can see the chat so on right here and you will have your mentions so if you have your uh, team mentioning you then you can see it right here and then another tip is that you can go in home and you can see here that you can click on unread and you would be able to see all the unread messages right here so that you would be able to know what messages you haven't seen yet. So you can just click this button right here. But if you want to see everything, including the red and the unread ones, then you can just uh, deactivate this button right here. And then the next thing is the start right here. So these are your starred items right here. So if ever you want to uh, star something, it would make you remember right here. So all of it will be put right here under starred, under shortcuts right there. And then the next one is direct messages. So you can find a chat right here. And as you can see, you can create a space and so on, bro spaces and find apps right here. You can app, uh, find an app right here and then you can insert an app right here, like for example, Trello and so on, if you'd like that. And then you can also go for message requests uh, if ever that someone messages you and you can see the request right here and they won't be able to uh, interact with you freely yet if you haven't approved their request. And then of course, you can always add people right here. So you can just type out their emails or gmails and then they will be prompted right here. And the next one is the space. So from here, we're going to actually uh, create a space right here. So we're going to click a space and space name would be my first space right here just for an example and then you can set an emoji right here if you'd like in my case i would like uh, maybe this one right there and then the description is this is a tutorial right here just for an example so you can also go and do it right here and then of course if there is someone that you want to include then you can always uh, put their email right here or their name and then you can just add them and click on create and then you have successfully created a workspace right here so from here in the space is that when you go here in the chat so as you can see when i type right here this is a chat right there and as you can see it's like this so everyone in this workspace will be able to see this right here and you can also go into files and if, if ever that in this space right here or in this chat if someone adds a file right here it would be uh, reflected right here and then all of you can see it right here so for example this is a workspace for editors then you can just go and upload your materials right here in the files and then you can also have tasks right here so from here you can organize your task right here and then from here you can click and add a space task and then from here you can add a title so let's say edit the this video right here and then you can go for details right here like maybe uh, make it cinematic just like that just for an example and then you can add a time right here maybe a deadline or something like that then you can just add that and you can set time and 10 a.m by uh january 5th then you click ok and, as, and then as you can see the Jew would be tomorrow right there or you could go for 19 the Jew would be on January 19 at 10 a.m. on Friday and so on and then you can assign right here who is the members of the workspace you can just assign it right here by typing their name or their email and click on add right there and actually I'm just gonna assign this to myself but as you can see it keeps loading so we'll just do it later right there 
And then you can also have the chat button right here. So you can always go back right here. And as you can see, it is updated right here in the chat. So as you can see, it says that created a task via task and edit this video and so on right there. So yeah, Google Space would really is really good at that. And not just that, we also have these features right here. We have this formatting options right here. If you'd like to format your chat right here. So for example, you are typing some uh, instructions or maybe details about the searching project or something like that. And then you can do it like here, like you are writing on the Google Docs. So from here, let's say uh, this is a very important message. And then you can just go and make this bold if you'd like, just like that, or make it make this underlined or just like that. As you can see, change the color and so on right there. You can also do it right here. You can even do this right here, inserting a link so that when people uh, clicks on it, they would be prompted to the link right there. And then you also have this right here. This one right here would be strike through. And then if you want to a bullet point, then you can also do it right there. So you can also do this here in the chats right here in Google chat and click here. And you can see also right here that you can attach right here. So you can go and go into the workspace, Google Drive and so on. You can attach drive files, Google Docs and so on right there. And I'm gonna go for the Google Docs right there. And as you can see, share a new document. This document will be shaped to my drive and so on. So we're gonna put a title into our Google Docs right there. We'll be getting back later on the Google Docs that we have created later on, I mean earlier. And then from here, uh, example number two just for an example right here click on share and then it's going to create a document right here as you can see right here as you can see it's updated right here and what's really neat is that you can do a side by side work right here so you can just chat with them while making a document right here so you can do this and basically you can also do this with other ones like for example google sheets you don't have to go into another tab so that you can just go in edit the google sheets so this is another a uh, really good advantage of using Google Chat or Google Workspace right here. So you can also do that. And we're gonna close this. And then we can also attach right here. So if there is something that you want to upload a file, you can click here. And you can also start a meeting right here. As you can see, it is a video meeting. So let's just erase this. And you can just send this right here. And they would be able to join this one and so that you can have a video meeting about something or whatsoever that you want. And then the next one is we're gonna go and find a chat right here. We're gonna go for this one next. Click on find chat, create a space right here. And then you wanna go for a space name called space. Just like that, create. And let's see, as you can see, it will be prompted right here when you click here. So this one, this space right here is only for chats exclusively so this is more for like one-on-one -on -one, uh, chat on uh, your on your teammates right here so you can see it right here but this one is for group so spaces is for like group chats or, or whatsoever right there and then the next one would be this one right here this would be my last tip so this is a status right here so you have some templates right here you can go for automatic do not disturb right here so maybe you want, don't want to be disturbed or you don't want anyone to chat you up then you can go here and click on do not disturb or set us away if you're gonna go on offline right here or you could add a custom status so maybe you are driving then you can click here or you can make your own so maybe you are let's say uh, gaming just like that or maybe you can go for eating and then you can go here set the time for maybe four hours right there and then you can set in a custom emoji that you'd want right here so you can set this into something like food right there and then click on ok as you can see this is now my status right there so yeah you can do it like that or you can go set it as automatic and you would still have this status right here so as you can see it, this is how it would look like and you can change this right here maybe do not disturb for two hours because you are eating and so on right there so yeah you can also do that so that is basically it for this tutorial i hope this video helped you out thank you for watching